Chris Mike Gonzalez joins us now from Heritage. He's the Heritage Foundation Foreign Policy Senior good. Fellow. Um, good to see you again, Mike. What stands out to you in watching, you know, uh, this fluid situation that Blake described in the streets of Caracas today? Uh, well, uh, Connell, thanks for having me on. Uh, <clears throat> the fact that many officers have now moved to Juan Guaido, who is, let's not forget, the legitimate leader of Venezuela, <clears throat> about an hour ago, uh, police in Caracas sided with the Venezuelan people and started open fire on, on, the, uh, on the group of paramilitaries uh, that have sided with the dictator Maduro. Uh, so, so that is a, 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 it gives you a sign that police and members of the military are beginning to side with the constitutional government and the, uh, a, 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 and the legitimate government of Maduro, of, uh, sorry, of Juan Guaido right. and against uh, uh, Maduro, who's, let's not forget, Maduro is being kept in power here by Cuba, Russia, and China. Mm -hmm. Yep, John Bolton talked at length about that uh, today. He also talked about some officials within Venezuela who had promised to do more, not doing enough, asking them to step up. And will we see that, do you think? Or, how, or maybe we are already, I don't know. Well, I think the next few hours are critical, obviously. The colectivos, which are the paramilitary groups, are going out and trying to, uh, to, to massacre people. We've seen harrowing scenes of armored cars yep. running over peaceful demonstrators. Oh. This, didn't even, this did not even happen. You know, remember the, the, the scene of Tiananmen where the tank tried to avoid tank man. Uh, this is obviously, there's, there's no, nobody really should be ambivalent about what is taking place in Caracas today. That video, uh, which many of us have seen that you describe and other uh, scenes from today, have, prompted the question to John Bolton and others, what would, what would it take for the U.S. to intervene in terms of military action? He talked to, uh, and has used the phrase over and over again that all options are on the table, but where do you think we are with regards to U.S. involvement militarily? I don't think the president uh, wants to get involved here. I think this is a matter for the Venezuelan people and, if anything, for Venezuela's neighbors uh, to, 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 to reckon with the situation. The Venezuelan people are being very courageous. The Venezuelan people are taking to the streets and siding with the constitutional government. Uh, our analyst, David Shedd, discovered this morning that the reason uh, Juan Guaido had to add, act the way he did is because he discovered that he was going to be arrested mm -hmm. uh, by, the, by the, the Maduro uh, henchmen. Uh, so they have left him no option, and they have left the Venezuelan people no option. What about the personal safety, though, of Guaido? I think that is a, a red line for the U.S. government. I, don't, I think, obviously, President Trump is very reticent to act uh, militarily overseas or do anything of that sort. But I think they have made it very clear to Maduro that if they touch the, uh, President Juan Guaido, mm -hmm. the legitimate leader of Venezuela, that might be a, a red line. They haven't used that term, uh, but they have said they, that there will be consequences. Final point, Mike, before we let you go, your sense of how close we are to kind of the end here. Today is obviously very critical. We have seen demonstrations for since January when Guaido assumed power, uh, according to the uh, Article 51 of the Constitution. Uh, but today really is a day. It doesn't mean if, that if something doesn't happen today, mm -hmm. it is sober for Juan Guaido. That does not mean that. But because obviously nobody supports Maduro overseas except for Moscow, Havana, and Beijing. Uh, the, all the democracies are on the side of Juan Guaido. However, this is critical. The Venezuelan, the, 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 the officers have to really now side with Guaido. All right. Uh, more to come as we get it from Venezuela. That's Mike Gonzalez from Heritage. Melissa.